this is a tutorial on how to use CodePen. Step 1. Go to CodePen.io. Click New Pen. After that, you can type, click on these gears. So basically, you can change it to something else like, uh, you can change it to like Hamel, Markdown, Slim, Jade. Let's try Jade. And Jade is, go Jade Lang. And you can do Jade. So you learn Jade this way. Ah, jeez. So it's gonna be H1 Jade. Error. Okay, I don't like Jade. Get you, Jade. I'm no good with Jade. I gotta relearn Jade. So, um, let's do vanilla HTML, which is not that important. Um, so you can use less SCSS, SAS, Salads. Uh, let's do SCSS, and we're going to use Bootstrap. And we'll just add anime CSS2, anime CSS, the library. And we're gonna add one more library. We can add Babel, so we'll have ES6, but we really don't need it. jQuery, so you have all these libraries D3, Zepto, Polymer, React, Ember. I'm just using jQuery. And let's get started with a scaffold. So row and then dot jumbotron and then h1 hi there and we're gonna create a button button click me and we're going to class btn Oh, cool. BTN primary. Let's try that. That's blue. And uh, oh, rest of me sets reading that. I have to wrap this in. Uh, let's wrap it in a container. Container. Stop. Okay. Now we have space. Okay, cool. We got it working. And next we're gonna do some jQuery. So we can use dot jumbotron dot CSS background red. See? And that's how you use um JavaScript. And we can create a callback function. So we can name this button, let's give it an ID of click. Uh, click, click, yeah. So we're gonna give it an ID of click dot on dot click functions because it's fun 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 function guys and let's see it says this guy uh, cool bam 
that works. Click me. Cool. So, so I have ES6, which is Babel. I could write this actually shorter. I could just do as pointed. It's actually be shorter. Just point like that. That'd be a lot shorter, and I think it should work. Yeah, still works. ES6 rocks, guys. All right. Peace, good luck programming, and till next time. Keep my hacking, I guess. Oh, for this, the SDSS, you can go like, um, what would I do? What would I do? What would I do? What would I do? Pretend you want to do container, and it's padding is it takes all. I have to do one M around. When I'm all around, and then you want to also target row and then margin all around is one and that's been zero. And that, and then you can compile it, and this is what it shows. So you can learn more about SCSS at SAS Lang here. You can learn more about it, but this thing you know, the comp like install or compile it, you can just do this as a playground. So you can go into this and learn SAS is what I'll think and SCSS is what we're used to and it's like the extended CSS. So so you can compile it here or you can tidy it up. You can tidy up here. Oh, tidy. Oh, there's something new. So and then you can like drag the window big, small, like that. Uh, pretend you're like uh, doing, you know, like, oh, I'm doing some G C S no JavaScript, and I said, hello, Mr. Mr. Man, and you pop this guy out, and you'll say, hello, Mr. Man, cool, and that's pretty cool, cause that'll be your console. So this is a great playground, and then you can also show off your work. Since I don't want to save this, this is just a tutorial on how to use CodePen. And I am Captain Anonymous, not just kidding. I am Jason Spirosa, so next time guys, peace!